Hey everybody, my name is Taryn McFarlane. I'm 36 years old. I am doing my introduction in my car um, because it's probably really loud in my house. I just got home from volleyball practice. I coach and I teach and I, uh, well, currently I'm in volleyball season. I also coach high school softball. Um, I also do middle school volleyball, um, help with the track team. My husband is a head powerlifting coach. He also is the defensive coordinator for the school that we work at um, for football. Um, so anyways, that's, that's our profession. We have three kids. I have a 13 year old about to be 14. My son turns eight on Friday and my middle daughter, Brett, she is 11 and she's got a little while until she turns 12. But um, yeah, so I have full-time family, full-time job at a school. I am about to graduate from Texas Tech. It has been a super long road for me to finish school. I graduated high school in 2003 and I decided to go to the Blinnen College Station instead of playing sports at the Blinnen Brenham. So that was kind of one of the things I regret a little bit about what I did after college or what I did after high school. I wish I would have played sports, but um, I didn't. I decided to go to Blinnen College Station because I wanted to go to A&M. Um, I didn't wind up doing that. So instead, after my freshman year at Blinn, I came back to Houston where I grew up. I went to Cy Fair schools in high school. Um, and I took a year at Lone Star Community College. After my sophomore year, I transferred up to Sam Houston and that's where I met my husband. And that was in 2005. I did mm, a couple lackluster semesters. Um, long story short with college early on, I, I had no ambition. I had no idea what I wanted to do. I partied a lot and um, yeah so I didn't I didn't do great the first few years that I was in college I uh, didn't get full credit for a lot of my courses and I'm kind of um, making up for that at this point but um, so anyways my husband and my then boyfriend my now current husband we um, we got pregnant with our daughter while we were at Sam he went ahead and finished up um, he's six years older than I was. He is, he was in the Navy. So we, that's how we met at Sam at the same time. But, um, so he finished up, he got his degree at Sam. I took off a couple years and fast forward, he and I, um, well, he started coaching and teaching first and, um, that has brought us to a lot of really small towns and over the past, uh, decade, he and I have lived kind of all over Central Texas. Um, after Sam, I decided to get back into school and that was about 2012, 2013. And I wound up at um, McLennan Community College because we were, uh, at the time he was coaching in Mejia, which is a little outside of Waco. And I started taking some classes and at that point, it was the first time that I kind of had an idea of what I wanted to do because I absolutely loved the science classes that I was taking at McLennan. And I got into genetics and marine biology and microbiology. And I was able to do some marine biology research and go to Roton, Honduras. And I really got to get involved with the labs that they worked at there. Uh, some of the adjunct professors and doctoral study uh, professors at Tech were located at the satellite campus at McLennan and I got to do some really neat research at the Waco wetlands. Um, the reason I had to switch into university studies, which is what I'll be finishing with in December, was because um, we, my husband's father passed away, so we had to make some moves and had to move away from Waco and that made me have to default to an online degree. So I um, switched into university studies. I um, used one of my minors, used all the biology that I'd taken and lumped that into a minor. And I'm also doing um, integrated studies and then also 
uh, medical management. Um, that's really sad, but I honestly, I told my advisor I just wanted to graduate as fast as I could because I've been taking college classes for 87 years and I legitimately think I might have about 200 credit hours by the time I'm done, but that's where I'm at at this point. I am hoping that with my degree, I can um, kind of like segue into a teaching field, um, teaching science classes, and I've gotten a lot of experience in the classroom so far. So I'm hoping that it, uh, with the current state of teaching, that it'll be pretty easy for me to test in the content area that I want to teach and get into a teaching field. But um, so I'm sitting in the car, I'm about to go inside. We were talking about one of the things that we needed to um, touch on for this induction was how to make toast. And if I know my own kids, this is my house, don't make fun of it, we rent when we uh, when we coach. But um, you know, where I currently live in Coons. But um, if I know anything about my kids, the best way to make toast is to use our air fryer you can toast up to nine pieces at a time. Um, let's see. Kids should be doing the dishes. My son is sitting in boxer briefs. My husband is working on homework. My daughters are running away because they're supposed to be doing dishes. And, oh, so we're not a toast house today. Today we're a bagel house. And the only way that you can do bagels appropriately is if you leave the cream cheese out. Um, you, you use no less than 37 utensils, um, in order to get the best bagels and toast, this is super hot, um, you never clean out the toaster oven, so it's only good if it's got at least a week or two of crumbs, but, um, uh, that's the only way to make toast in our house, so, uh, that's my introduction, and I look forward to the class.